Hello Garagistas from around the world. Today's tutorial will be how to control a humidity and temperature sensor alarm by Arduino. Let's remember that we do have a social web garagelab.com where you can change ideas and follow news with another electronic holics. And we have a web store where we will find all the products that we are using in our tutorials. It will be good if you visit us in our YouTube channel as well. So basically, we will control today our Midget and Temperature Sensor College GAT22, which has a range of minus 40 degrees to 125 degrees, and we will control it by Arduino. So, everything you are seeing now is what we need to do it happens. We do need a speaker, we do need a complete and entire Arduino kit, we do need a resistor and capacitor to make this happen. You can also find and check the layout and all the materials listed in our social web garagelab.com. There, we will find the material lists of this tutorial with the straight link to the Vipro store where you can buy everything to make this happen. Now, I will show you how our Arduino program works. Once you run the program, it will ask a measure. When you open the serial monitor, it will ask a measure to type the maximum temperature I will set now 32 degrees and as less temperature I will set 20 degrees. Once we have set the temperature range, the alarm will beep out of this range. To make it work, I will hit the sensor surface with this soldering iron. And what we're gonna do is wait. When the sensor gets a temperature level out of a range, it will beep. Once we did understand how to operate our project, now let's have a look at this sketch, step by step. Well, the first line is about the necessary library to run the humidity and temperature sensor. The second one is to define which pin we are going to do the sensor connection. The AT22 is also known as RHE03 or AM2302. If you want to use another sensor model, everything you must to do is take out the comment from the line. So now, we are going to define the sensor type and pin to make the sensor function works. The type is DAT22, as I have said before. And to make the sensor function works, we are ad adjecting this entire line. Let's use the next two lines to define some variables. First of all, this pin out to define the, the alarm, the beep. And then we are going to define some float variables as the Tmax and Tmin, which will set the temperature range and stamp and humid, which will hold the measures of humidity and temperature. Well, this void setup is the beginning of your program and we are going to set a baud rate of 9600. Don't forget of checking your serial monitor if the baud rate is done. Once you have checked, these lines will print temperature and humidity alarm and type maximum temperature in the screen at first and then this while will be a looping that sets the Tmax value 
The same thing will happen to the, for the second value of our range. The second while will check if the t min value is valid. So, this delay is to secure two seconds between reading measures. It's important to remember that temperature sensors have a low response for some measures and two seconds are quite enough to our application. Pretty enough. The next two lines are to take the humidity and temperature measures and this if is to check if some float point values are not valid. If the value are not valid, the program will print an error message in the screen. If the value is valid, or otherwise, the program will start to compare the value to check if they are in or out of range, as you can see in this structure. If the value is in of range, there is no beep in and if the value is out of range, it will beep. Print all this information and start this function that will print the measures for the sensors every two seconds. Okay? I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you have any suggestions or questions, leave it in the comments below. Thank you very much. See you next time.